What if Earth's fate wasn't as secure as we believed? Natural disasters, pandemics, or even our own technological self-destruction, any could push humanity to the brink. For Elon Musk, Mars isn't just a dream, it's a lifeline. But why Mars? Why not stay on Earth or set sights on the moon? The answer could change the way you see our future forever. Elon Musk's dream of colonizing Mars isn't born of mere fascination with the cosmos, it's rooted in a deep-seated belief that humanity must become an interplanetary species to secure its survival. Musk has long argued that Earth's vulnerabilities, natural disasters, pandemics, or even the threat of technological self-destruction make it essential to have a backup plan. Mars, being our closest neighbor with a relatively Earth-like day and seasons, stands as the most promising candidate for a second home. But why not the Moon, a far closer and seemingly more logical option? Musk believes Mars offers a more sustainable environment in the long run. While the Moon's proximity is convenient, its lack of atmosphere and extreme temperature variations make it less viable for long-term habitation. Mars, with its greater distance from Earth, might pose more initial challenges, but it boasts a more manageable climate and the possibility of terraforming. Musk's vision was galvanized in 2002 when he founded SpaceX with the explicit mission to revolutionize space travel. From the outset, his goal was audacious to make human life multiplanetary. Early rocket failures only fueled his determination, proving that the path to Mars was not just a technological challenge but a test of resilience and vision. Musk's journey became a tale of daring where others saw limitations he saw potential to him. Mars is not just a distant ambition but a deadline to be met ideally by 2050. This aggressive timeline pushes SpaceX and the world to strive for unprecedented innovation. Musk's urgency serves as a call to action, a rallying cry for humanity to not just dream of the stars but to reach out and make them home. To get to Mars, SpaceX isn't just building rockets, they're redefining space travel itself. SpaceX has rewritten the book on what private companies can achieve in space exploration. Central to Musk's Mars plan is the Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft capable of transporting up to 100 passengers to the Red Planet. This vehicle isn't just an iteration of past spacecraft, it represents a paradigm shift. Unlike Apollo's single-use rockets, Starship is designed to be reused, significantly reducing the cost of space travel and making Mars a feasible destination. The engineering prowess behind Starship includes its stainless steel design, which tolerates high temperatures better than the traditional aluminum used in earlier spacecraft. This innovation allows it to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and be reused with minimal refurbishment. Its Raptor engines, fueled by a mix of liquid methane and liquid oxygen, are not just powerful but also strategically designed methane can be synthesized on Mars using local resources an essential step for refueling the spacecraft for a return journey. SpaceX's commitment to perfecting the reusable launch model has seen its share of dramatic failures, including early Starship prototypes exploding on test flights. Yet, each setback provided valuable data that pushed the technology further. The company's perseverance paid off, evidenced by successful launches and landings that proved the concept viable. These breakthroughs laid the groundwork for SpaceX's most ambitious plan, a Mars fleet. While many see the dream of colonizing Mars as the ultimate gamble, Musk views it as an inevitability. The Starship, with its pioneering design and advanced technology, symbolizes more than just the capability to reach Mars, it represents the embodiment of human ingenuity pushing the boundaries of the possible. Mars is a land of extremes, where surviving means rethinking everything we know about life itself. Colonizing Mars is no small feat. The planet's environment is unforgiving, marked by thin air, frigid temperatures, and constant exposure to cosmic and solar radiation. Unlike Earth's dense atmosphere that shields us from harmful rays, Mars's thin atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide, offers minimal protection. For SpaceX and Musk, these challenges are opportunities to innovate. One of the primary obstacles is radiation. Without adequate shielding, astronauts would be exposed to radiation levels far exceeding those on Earth, increasing the risk of cancer and other health issues. Musk's proposed solutions include the development of underground habitats or using the natural Martian soil, or regolith, as protective insulation. By leveraging this resource, early Martian settlers could build habitats that not only provide radiation protection but also maintain temperature control, combating the planet's average temperature of 80 def. Sustaining life on Mars also means tackling the challenge of breathable air and potable water. Initial plans involve bringing life support systems capable of recycling water and air, similar to those used on the International Space Station. Long-term goals, however, aim for self-sufficiency through technology that extracts water from Martian ice and converts carbon dioxide into oxygen using advanced electroelectrolysis processes. Food production is another key to survival. Transporting enough food for long-term stays would be impractical, 
So SpaceX's blueprint includes developing greenhouses capable of growing food in controlled environments. These structures will be equipped with lead lights and hydroponic systems to simulate Earth-like conditions. The goal is to create a sustainable ecosystem where early settlers can grow their own food, gradually reducing dependence on Earth. Each solution reinforces Musk's vision turning Mars into a place where humans don't just visit but thrive. It's a long, complex process, but Musk's philosophy is clear where challenges exist, so do opportunities to evolve. Building a city on Mars isn't just science fiction, it's an audacious, step-by-step -step blueprint already in motion. The blueprint for Martian cities begins with the establishment of the first outpost, a hub that will gradually expand into a colony. SpaceX's approach prioritizes modular construction. Prefabricated habitats will be launched from Earth and assembled on Mars, creating the initial base. These units will feature pressure-sealed environments, essential for human survival in the thin Martian atmosphere. Once the outpost is set, the next phase involves scaling up to create a self-sustaining city. SpaceX plans to utilize local resources to manufacture building materials. For instance, the Martian regolith can be processed into bricks for constructing more permanent structures. Solar panels will line the rooftops and surfaces to harness the sun's energy, providing power for the city's essential systems. Water extracted from underground ice deposits will support not just human consumption but also agriculture and industrial processes. With water, oxygen production can be scaled up, enabling the expansion of habitats and greenhouses. Musk envisions green spaces within these habitats where crops and trees grow, giving colonists a sense of normalcy and connection to Earth. As the city grows, so will its infrastructure. Plans for transportation include solar-powered rovers for local travel and exploration vehicles capable of carrying groups to more distant locations. Everyday life for the initial settlers will be marked by routines focused on maintaining systems, conducting research, and exploring the Martian terrain. Over time, as automation advances, more leisure and social activities will be integrated into the daily schedule, transforming Mars from a harsh outpost to a livable settlement. The creation of these Martian cities represents more than just survival, it's about building a new chapter for humanity, where exploration turns into a sustainable existence. What would society look like on a planet without borders, governed by the rules of pioneers? Mars presents a unique opportunity to rethink society from the ground up. With no borders and no existing laws, the early settlers will have the freedom to establish a new form of governance and economy. Musk's vision for this Martian society leans towards a cooperative model, where innovation and mutual support drive progress. One of the first discussions will center around governance. Musk has hinted at a direct democracy, where settlers vote on major decisions. This system would empower colonists to play an active role in shaping their community, fostering a sense of unity and collective responsibility. However, challenges will emerge as the population grows and the complexities of managing resources and disputes become apparent. Economic structure is another focal point. Initially, trade with Earth will be essential to receive supplies and technology not available on Mars. Over time, Mars could develop its own economy, possibly centered around mining rare minerals or producing unique technological solutions suited for harsh environments. The introduction of cryptocurrency or other digital payment systems could serve as the backbone of Martian trade, facilitating transactions without the need for traditional banking infrastructure. This new society's foundation will rest on a shared commitment to survival and progress. By fostering a culture of cooperation and adaptability, Musk's blueprint ensures that Mars will not only be habitable but thrive as a beacon of what human ingenuity can achieve. What if by 2050, Mars isn't just a dream but a reality? and humanity becomes a two-planet species. Elon Musk's vision for Mars extends far beyond initial colonization. By 2050, he imagines Mars as a fully functioning society that inspires new generations and shifts humanity's perspective of its own potential. The impact of achieving this goal would resonate on Earth, fostering global collaboration, technological breakthroughs, and renewed interest in space exploration. One of the most profound legacies of Mars colonization would be the expansion of human knowledge. The harsh Martian environment would force scientists and engineers to innovate at an unprecedented pace. Many of these advancements, from sustainable energy solutions to bioengineering breakthroughs, would find their way back to Earth, potentially solving some of our most pressing issues. Socially, a successful Mars colony could usher in a new era of exploration-driven optimism. The idea that humanity is not confined to Earth but can thrive on another planet would redefine the boundaries of human potential schools, universities, and institutions across Earth would pivot their focus to space-related fields, 
nurturing a generation of thinkers prepared to extend humanity's reach even further into the cosmos. Musk's dream of a multi-planet species is more than a testament to ambition, it's a legacy that challenges humanity to dream bigger and strive harder. Mars 2050 wouldn't just be a scientific achievement, it would mark the dawn of a new chapter in human history, a story of resilience, exploration, and boundless possibility.